first industrial revolution created a more equitable British society. As we approach the precipice of the fourth industrial revolution, UK needs a catalyst to take her forward. Our vision is rebuilding an agile and transformative UK economy that leaves no one behind. A very good morning to the BNSF board. And by way of introduction, my name is Joey. And together with my team members, Chinan, Jiehui, and Ryan, we are proud to present to you our solution to meet BNSF's triple mandate. We have evaluated the current climate and took into consideration the various stakeholders' needs to prioritize targeted goals. Our triple mandate aims to find a balance between fund returns and developing UK's economic landscape, all for making a strong social impact with tangible benchmarks such as the Gini coefficient, which allows us to understand our impact on improving inequality. Today, we introduce our three-pronged approach with three distinct portfolio groups to create financial development and social value. We plan to allocate 50% to our international portfolio group, 30% to our infrastructure group, and 20% to our enterprise development group. This allows us to achieve coherent fund performance that provides synergies with our triple bottom line by using holistic evaluation metrics. Our three portfolio groups aim to create value domestically while earning substantial diversified returns outside of the United Kingdom for capital protection. As UK's sovereign wealth fund, BNSF is at a very unique position that allows the fund to promote UK's social economic objectives. With BNSF's strategic connection with the UK government, it allows BNSF to have a seamless access to regulatory approval and technical expertise of government bots. All this while serving as an attractive co-investment partner for private capital who wish to collaborate on promoting UK's economy. With this, BNSF should have a steady deal pipeline. Lastly, BNSF does not have to focus on short-term returns. They can focus on taking on longer-term projects that are aligned with UK's social economic objectives. Now, let's introduce our first portfolio group, the infrastructure portfolio group, that seeks to build the foundation for UK's social economic growth through infrastructure investments. Through infrastructure projects and investments, Infrastructure is aligned with social, economic, and sustainability goals for the UK. By investing in infrastructure projects in underdeveloped regions, investing in infrastructure that supports sustainable renewable energy, and building a base for further economic growth. Beyond infrastructure investments, infrastructure group can also consider issuing green bonds to raise private capital and address UK's infrastructure funding gap. We recognize that there's a need of private funding to meet UK's infrastructure project pipeline, and BNSF has the ability to address the gap through issuance of green bonds, which will be an attractive investment for investors given BNSF government ties and trust of the national public. Furthermore, BNSF core competencies of being a sovereign wealth fund positions the fund to attract co-investment opportunities from other private infrastructure funds, allowing BNSF to cooperate with experienced private infrastructure investors and leverage on operational expertise and size of the private infrastructure funds. All this while considering the needs of the British people, achieving the best of both worlds. Financial projections and sensitivity analysis on a potential wind farm project in the south of London shows the attractiveness and feasibility of investments in sustainable infrastructure. With a base case modified internal rate of return of 8%, and a payback period of nine years. Infrastructure Group serves to build the foundation of sustainable growth in the UK's modern economy. And now that the foundation has been laid, how then can we continue to create social economic value in UK's economy? The EDG aims to strengthen our economic backbone of today and the church champions of tomorrow. We achieve that through our SME growth arm, NDC arm, where we directly invest in SMEs and startups respectively. Direct investments give us the autonomy to fulfill our strategic goals. SMEs have been particularly hit by COVID-19 and Brexit. We need to equip them with the tools to grow even in adversity. With Brexit, UK SMEs are cut from EU financing. There is also unequal equity financing distribution by UK regions. And there is often one overlooked gap. 
traditionally underfunded SMEs don't know the benefit of equity financing, nor how to fundraise. Our SME arm should adopt a hands-on buy and build approach. As such, we will acquire minimally 20% stake to provide active management. We want to be a trusted and inclusive partner for SMEs through the way we reach out, identify targets, and communicate with SME owners. Ultimately, our SME growth arm will equip our SMEs to grow even in times of adversity. But we want to do more than just that. We want to build tomorrow by investing in innovative, cutting-edge startups. Beyond outside financial returns, startups can meet future industrial goals that the UK has identified. We understand that some board members are concerned that VC is a risky asset class. But we believe that BNSF's core competency positions us to be a to achieve both financial and strategic returns. We can help our portfolio startup gain easier access to regulatory support and invite the right partners with the right know-how on board. More importantly, in this economic revitalization, we want to make this growth inclusive. We recognize there are se there is severe underrepresentation of women and ethnic minorities in business leadership. Human capital is our key asset. BNSF must hire a diverse investment committee that is reflective of UK society so that we reduce any implicit bias we have. And we want to champion our minority business leaders. We want to amplify their voices and boost their visibility. While the infrastructure group and enterprise development group fear domestic development, we need a source of diversified returns, the international portfolio group. Given that our enterprise and infrastructure groups focus on the UK, we believe that it would be prudent for BNSF to diversify its sources of returns to ensure capital protection and long-term capital accumulation. Our proposed solution is an internationally diversified group focusing on public market investments that aims to reduce the fund's overall concentration in the UK. Our proposed international portfolio group has a historical R-square of 47% to the FTSE 100, illustrating the diversified nature of the fund. However, the annual buy and hold return moving forward is estimated to be a meager 3.4%. In a trade-off between diversifying risk and absolute returns, this is our selection. So although over the past decade, we have experienced tremendous passive return strategy, retur passive strategy returns, major research houses have postulated feeble market returns in the years ahead when compared to the last decade. This can be attributed to higher inflation moving forward and, and high existing valuations, which puts a strain on upside potential. History has shown us that in times of low returns, which we are expecting moving forward, active strategies have outperformed passive strategies by a long shot. Hence, we believe that BNSF must adopt active management for its international portfolio. High conviction ideas must generate a return above its expected beta return and would be executed by replacing assets from our passive portfolio while ensuring that we remain within our systematic risk parameters. Aside from active management, IPG would also adopt an investment framework on top of the Santiago principles, which aims to do the following. Firstly, prevent reputational harm. As BNSF represents the United Kingdom. Secondly, invest with a social agenda that, part that passively adheres to UK's ESG guidelines. And lastly, invest in companies with strategic value to the, to the United Kingdom to prevent a large concentration of foreign ownership in companies key to the UK's national interest. We have created a dynamic deployment plan with staggered deployments to mitigate any risks and to ensure strong risk-adjusted returns. An analysis of our cash flows and cumulative returns show that we expect BNSF to experience a J-curve effect, but cash flows are sufficient to cover expenses. On top of that, our fund also aims to donate $15 million each year to charitable causes. With uncertainty surrounding Brexit, we have evaluated various scenarios and our dynamic allocation is robust and prepared for any Brexit eventuality. Here at BNSF, our three-prong approach of the IG, EDG and IPG fills the gap of our triple mandate and we look to building an agile, transformative UK that leaves no man behind. Just as the Industrial Revolution leveled the playing field for the average Joe, BNSF would catalyze a new era of transformative growth in the UK that creates equal opportunities for all. Thank you.